there's another great mythology, and that's about how uh, the oil men of Texas saved uh, saved the whales. Um, so it, it's a nice story, but uh, it turns out maybe it's not true. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very, a very old story. I mean, from the I, I put a caricature of uh, 1860 something where you got the the whales giving a toast to the discovery of oil in Pennsylvania uh, in 1861 because of course uh, supposedly oil would save uh, the whales. And then the story is really repeated by the oil industry from the 1930s onward. When we talk about the environmental effect of oil industry, they always say, "Oh no, we are the good guys. We know we have saved the oil, the, the whales." You know? And of course, it is so stupid. I mean, just a few elements, uh, like three times more uh, whales were killed in the 20th century than in the 19th century, and they were killed with boats, much more powerful boats using diesel engine. Uh, so oil was, of course, very uh, useful to kill whales. And then the, I mean, the funniest part, I think, is that the, the very last uh, drops of spermacety oil were probably used in cat engine because it's an excellent lubricant, and they were also used in um, automatic uh, cars. You know, like for for very good uh, lubricants, you need a, a small part of whale oil, which has very interesting uh, property that I cannot uh, explain. But you know, so yeah, of course, this is rubbish. And if something saved uh, the whales, uh, it is first of all Greenpeace, I think, like the environmentalist movement and some kind of radical environmentalism, and the Hoho battery. Not a very well known character in the story, but it's a, a tree, uh, I think, growing from in Mexico primarily, and then which was cultivated in Israel, and they make plantation of hoho battery to uh, to replace the, the lubricant that were um, derived from, from whale oil. So yes, no, the, the oil did not save the whale. It, I mean, of course, it's a funny story, but the very uh, sad thing is that the, the experts and the economists, experts on climate change, like William Nordhaus, you know, they buy the story and they repeat the story all the time. William Nordhaus, one of the important characters in my book, Nobel Prize in 2018 for his work on the economics of climate change. You find that in his articles, you know, like, yeah, of course, it's through innovation that we will save climate, just as it is with all that we save uh, the, the whales, you know. So this kind of mythology, you know, they are even present among the people who should know, I think. 